What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Merry Christmas! I hope you guys are all having a very good Christmas with family, friends, whoever you can. And even if you can't be with them, know that you're not alone, that the real reason for the season is the greatest gift of all, Jesus Christ. And He was the greatest gift. And He does still love you too. Alright, I'm never censoring that stuff. Anyway, so guys, <clears throat> this has been heavily, heavily requested, all right? And this is uh, the new team neighborhood episode. I mean, what kind of a, what better Christmas present, right? Uh, of course, by the man, the myth, the legend, the great dictator, the man, well, just called great, not the great dictator, just great dictator, the man who is literally responsible for the high point of my entire YouTube career so far. Bacon. Yeah, but it's a gas grill. I don't like gas grills. I like charcoal grills. Oh, that boy ain't right. Yeah, that. Okay. So, um, <laughs> all right. So here we go. Let's uh, get started here. All right. This is a long one, too. Schmidt. <laughs> All right, let's go. Urban no wonder it took him months to make this. stage for war. Orange box. <clears throat> As cold like National from Geographic. the Canadian Arctic push south, temperatures drop and tensions rise. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> so a hardened group wait, 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 wait. What did that say? Tensions rise. Blizzard bitch bullshit blankets the Tri-Cities. Dude. Crash outside of T T T Detroit leaves 96 passengers mildly inconvenienced. For a hardened group of cold-blooded killers and Blue Scout, one and Blue spot Scout. is enough to throw the rivals of the subdivision into turmoil. For the first time, the frigid events that rattled the snowy outskirts of Garysville will finally mm. be revealed. Using forensic analysis, nice. set reconstruction, CGI models, reenactments, and complicated arithmetic outsourced to Casas. What the hell? Two teams, two houses, eighteen mercy. Dude, this is so damn perfect. Million snowballs. Whoa! What? Attack! Holy crap! <laughs> Heavy of course. The world's seventy-eighth <laughs> largest snowball fight. Wait, dude, seventy-eighth? What the hell? Oh my god! <laughs> funded by Manco. Of course. 2017. <laughs> Neighborhood Chronicles. Oh my god, this is amazing. Holy shit, he's outdone himself, man. Garysville, Colorado, January 7th, 2017. The day is still within the Ape House <laughs> subdivision. Mercenaries hired by Manco to compete over gravel pits await their deployment. Mm. Every week, we go on tour. The Blue Division of Manco competes over gravel stocks for the next month over red territories, and vice versa. Most of the time, it's exhibition <laughs> on occasion broadcasted. And sometimes, it's for keeps. Oh. It's all good sport, you know. What the founders yeah. wanted, yeah, and wanted to keep going, even after death and yeah. the resurrection, <laughs> and, death. and death, and death again, and more death. <laughs> Zero, you Even asshole. Though the competitive matches are a money seek, yield little to no profit for us, and denies us insurance benefits from the state. It shows us the many spectacular ways men can kill each other. <laughs> and Dude. it's entertaining. Okay, that's enough reason right there. Yes! 
and there's the janitor. As the uh. matches close out, both the red and blue teams pack up their gear and head home to their bases. <laughs> their bases, two large ABE houses outside of the city of Garysville, hey, that's one of the two satellite the municipalities of GM Big City. Each residence able to comfortably house the 18 mercenaries. We were originally stationed at uh, Metalworks. Hydro was our base. Bad sidelines. Everyone kept getting lost. That dump sucked right. ass. I miss the privacy. It was <laughs> in the best interest for Montour to move us to a base that is within reach from much of our many event locations. Yeah, that's true. Living outside the Colorado Rockies has its downsides compared to living <laughs> in the badlands of New Mexico. Snow. There ain't yeah. that much snow in New Mexico. We looked at it. Oh, yes. Is that an orc in the background? Either. During the winter months, we yearn for a game down south just to soak in its hot sun. Though there is the unfortunate possibility we will be assigned to a match with even less favorable temperatures. <laughs> Man, it's fucking cold. Snow. Something the Russians and Canadians invented to keep us Americans down for a quarter of the year. <laughs> I do not care. Yes. I weaponize it. After a grueling <laughs> tournament the, Russians upward, and Canadians the red team returns home ah, with nice. zero wins. <laughs> uh, yeah, we didn't do that bad. I mean, if and only if you overlook the fact that we were getting creamed one match after another by the Blues. The Blues were hacking, man. At least we had fun. We sucked. Standing victorious, the blue team celebrated in the front yard. All because some bloke locked us out! <laughs> he lost the key. With the blue team locked out of their home, their spirits were high and erratic. Yeah, As high, for the red right. team, uh, their fortune has not improved. And they're locked out too. Mancho only allows us to keep one set of keys to the house. So we don't lock the door anymore! As the euphoria and melancholy reached a peak between both teams, oh of what God. came next, no one knows for certain. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> heavy turns around. Okay, who did it? Ludicrous war on red. Yeah. Who threw that? Who threw that? War. War. A snowball, roughly six inches wide, struck the Red Soldier. An impact that set the motivations and will between both teams in stone for the rest of the month. <laughs> a lot of blame gets thrown around, Dude. and I don't like to name names. But it was Scout. Scout. <laughs> Scout. <laughs> Scout. <laughs> Scout. <laughs> Scout. Who else? Hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. Time out. No. It wasn't me. I'm telling you. I did not throw the first snowball. <laughs> it was Pyro! War has broken out between yes. the two teams. Go Pyro! The Cold War has gone <laughs> frigid. Yeah. Snow doesn't work like it that, dumbass. It was chaos. Men, <laughs> women, and children were being mowed down. Blood spilled into the street. I could still hear the wailing screams of the innocent. What? Oh yeah, they had, they had a snowball fight. The Man. first fight, let me tell you, went on for several hours. <laughs> like a brawl on Ghost Fort. Yeah, sounds about right. Whoa, holy crap. <laughs> Dude, really? Oh, yes. Like spice, snow is a valuable resource. But in this battle, there isn't a giant worm around to make more. Wait, what? Uh, He's coming! Oh! <laughs> Damn, can we get this as a game mode in TF2, please? <laughs> Be awesome for Smithsmiths. <laughs> this guy's freaking out. Ooh. 
Okay. Devil's too drunk to care, really. <laughs> it's like all dramatic and shit. Oh my god, man. They just... <laughs> what the? Why is he on fire? Yeah. Oh. What? What? <laughs> the ongoing yes. onslaught persisted yes. into the evening, slowing traffic to a crawl. I'm sure, dude. Oh, <laughs> Big That's bullshit. Waste of oh my god. Wait, 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 I see the whole thing. Oh my god, yes! Holy shit, that's bullshit! Oh my god! Big Been a long time! Waste of time. Wait, what the hell was that behind him? Big waste of time. Oh, it's a Renamon for some reason. As the night crept in, Red and Blue Team mm. knew they were unprepared for a sustained conflict doing? without a proper battle plan. Reached their doors and retreated to their bases to regroup. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> He's throwing Scout's ass through it. Oh my god, you dumbass. Is that all you got, moron? Oh boy. <laughs> oh shit! The night settled in, <laughs> and the first battle of the war him. took its first casualty. <laughs> Over the course of the early morning, the red and blue mercenaries laid up their plans, Dude. each hoping to take the neighborhood by the end of the week. Yes. Some proposals were contrived, many <laughs> spontaneous, and others questionable, as the men went for the war. Wait, many so spontaneous, and others... <laughs> Questionable as the men prep for the war ahead. <clears throat> oh my god, this is so awesome! De oh my god, Pyro! Oh, we did that one a bit much. Merry Christmas, mate. For several days. Dude. Relentless assault and bombardment <laughs> oh. from both parties oh, never let up. One day it was armies of snow. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Relentless assault and bombardment. Oh, God. Freaking Scout got his ass run. Man. From both. <laughs> so hard at him. What the fuck? Parties dude? never let <laughs> Quick no. drop. Oh, that's so wholesome. The two pyros are just having fun. One day it was armies of He's like, wait a sec, wait a sec, I I'm texting. <laughs> Snow, others, it was war with technology. Oh my god, man. Technology. <laughs> These oh, men were trained and emboldened <clears throat> for non stop raids and still all defense. Yeah. It's pretty much what they were designed for. Yeah. On January 15th, there was a momentary truce. National Hat Day was observed by both teams, though it only lasted for a half hour. A half hour? Uh. 
War plans littered the houses, many simple, many too complicated, and one involving a yellow snow cone, but most never made it past the We're drawing on. board. The teams knew that they won't be getting anywhere, at least not conventionally. <coughs> we could have fought for weeks. We could have held out for longer. <laughs> we needed to change things up. War production. Oh my the god. The bone of any good offensive. Hi! Oh my oh. god. Both the reds and blues needed to optimize their ballistics construction if they were to have a chance to emerge on top. Oh my god! It Several this designs shit to were the tested and failed. There oh was no god. point oh. in reinventing the wheel, so to speak. The snowball yeah. was just too good a weapon. As the ammunition piles up, the next task at hand became paramount: efficient delivery systems. Yeah, throwing snowballs is one thing. But throwing them for 8 to 16 hours straight? I gotta save my good arm for... Bad. Mm. Uh -huh. So we put pyro on it! Pyro? Oh my god. Why is he using the back burner specifically, though? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I gotta go. I gotta go back on this because I gotta see if there's uh, subtitles for that. Okay, there's no subtitles for that. We were gonna ask Demo, but he didn't know Jack Rabbit about weapon destruction. <laughs> Why that specifically? Oh shit! Whoa! Who do that? <laughs> Who do that? <laughs> oh! Damn, man! Oh! Yeah. Unable to get a leg up over their red rivals through production and arsenal, the blue team shifts to a more illegal tactic. You know, I think the blue team were doing some shady stuff. No they shit. They were moving dude. in a bunch of fluids. I think they were experimenting with hard water. Ice. Well, they could have put rocks into it, you know. Hard water, commonly known as ice, revolutionized the blue team's war effort, giving them the edge they need to lead the offensive. Oh my god. So, it's just water, pretending to be sad. Oh, jeez. Got an x-ray on that one. ingenious, really. Snowballs packed one hell of a punch if they were made from ice. <laughs> we were being overwhelmed. We were pissing ourselves out there. <laughs> Give them hell, boys. With the newfound weaponry what in the advantage, the, the blue team makes a strategic push. <laughs> I love this. This is so bad. The offensive was devastating. <laughs> Go. In desperation, Reset. the red team is pushed into fortress mode. the onslaught, the blue team's advance had slowed. We overshot our logistics. Couldn't supply our boys at the front line fast enough. So we had an answer to this conundrum. It was an incredible sight. <laughs> Brilliant plan. <laughs> it was just a snowball fight. <laughs> Civil fight that got way out of hand. Oh, oh, what the soldier? Uh, I know a soldier 76. Snowball fight. 
Nobody cares, dude. Nobody cares who about are you. you guys. Nobody. Who are you? Nobody cares, dude. With their supply line reinforced, people are already forgetting about Overwatch. Sniper, right Whoa! Shit, dude. Oh, oh, oh God! He missed? With his pride destroyed, the Red Sniper is out of commission. Oh, jeez. How the bloody hell did I hit that poor powder bear for back then? Yeah. Feeling untouched and blinded by his overconfidence, the Blue Soldier directs his attack. Only for bad intel to somehow direct his advance to the neighbor's house. Uh oh. <laughs> I was out of town when they did this. Luckily, they oh. didn't crash my yacht. <laughs> Attacking the wrong house is like, uh, it's, it's like invading the wrong country. Sometimes it happens. Why am I even here? Why am I getting paid for this? <laughs> With valuable time lost, the blue team mobilizes their attack back to the correct house. Then the red team did not regroup or see any of that. <laughs> See any of that? <laughs> oh, what the hell, dude? Oh, oh, oh that's wrong. Time to get blooded. Ah, there was snow. I don't remember shit. Yeah. The blue team's excursion cost the Mercs their momentum. The red team has suppressed the blues' advance. <laughs> Nice ragdoll right there. While the blue team was loitering in the wrong yard, the red team was busy with a secret weapon of their own in hopes oh, to bring shit. a swift end to this war. This is badass. I love this ice more and more by the minute. I think it's a war crime in some doctrine. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It anyway, was. <laughs> we have solution. It's the ultimate solution. What the red team's medic and engineer had in store oh to change the tide of war was tight-lipped secret. We had to step up our security, keep an eye out for enemy spies, you know? What we had coaching could never get out. Every red merc was carded <laughs> at every checkpoint. It got so bad that the red soldier had to check his own papers to see if he was a spy. <laughs> what the? What? With the enemy at the gates, the red team was running out of time. The robot spy! It was crawling, Rick. Planning everything out. What we planned was inhuman. <laughs> oh my god. It's just a giant water balloon. After several minutes of research and development, the Red Team's ultimate weapon of winter warfare bears fruit. <clears throat> With the new weapon weaponized, the Red <clears throat> Team just now needs a delivery system. So I call in a favor. Oh God! What the hell did you do? Uh, McDonnell Douglas, Boeing C-17 Glowmaster Three Military Transport. Why? How? Four turbojet engines of pure American thunder, capable of airlifting thousands of tons of cargo over mountains and deserts. Just what we need for the bombing run. Dude! Talk about fucking overkill! It's <laughs> amazing! It is a damn shame I don't know anybody who has one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the incredible size and weight of the water balloon described by Jane Doe can never fly from a plane at size, let alone hold itself together. <laughs> but it did. 
then again, the physics of this world doesn't make any sense. No, it does not. Oh my god. Talk about a final solution, dude. The whole thing would freeze, yep. Such devastation. <laughs> that was some good shit. <laughs> yes, it was. Good. Yes. Well, word got out of what was happening, and the administrator was getting a bit angry at the accumulating yeah. expenditures of damages. <laughs> I have no part in this. What the mercenaries do on their own time is their business, as long as they don't drain the company's accounts over damages. Well, I'd say it was money well spent. Hell, yeah. this documentary I dumped a whole bank account into will certainly be a hit down under. Yes, we it wish would. we had snow down there. Before things somehow get even worse, we <laughs> forced the two teams to sign a treaty. <laughs> the Treaty of Wet Snow is signed. A white <laughs> peace between the two disgruntled teams of mercenaries. <laughs> He's eating chips. It was fucking bullshit. We yeah. won that battle. Yeah, I they did. have never been robbed of a victory like that since the Badwater Tournament in 2015. Hmm. It's like going to Burger Tank on a hot day and the ice cream machine's broken. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Like <laughs> every day. Every day. <laughs> Treaty of Peace, oh my god, what the hell? It was crazy, but hey, it wasn't the craziest thing that happened to us that year. Are you coming to an ice and taking us? <laughs> nice! I don't like gas. That's a gas grill. I don't like gas grills. I like charcoal grills. A hostile cable hookup. <laughs> Building the pool. The pool, yeah. <laughs> the Bushman's Challenge. Oh, that was awesome! Yes. <laughs> wow. Hey, do you know sharks have two penises? <laughs> it was just a snowball fight. It was just a snowball fight. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. That was badass! Coming up next, James May and Richard Ammon go snotting <laughs> in Dracula's castle. Will they survive the night? Stay tuned and find out. <laughs> oh my god, that was badass! That was awesome! <laughs> this episode was totally worth the wait, holy shit! <laughs> Deep freeze the moon greens. <laughs> God, man. I mean, talking about shit just could have got a hand, man. Why are there two red pyros over there? We would like to cordially thank the YouTube underlings who have successfully siphoned their profits from their bespoke pyramid <gasps> scheme of choice. Thank yeah. you, minions. Your contribution will finance the machine that will beat our employees until morale and productivity improves. There you go. Badly gaming. Bardic Productions. Damn. Japista Art. Lazy Ladies. <laughs> oh my god. No man. more words! Rye Sands. Rat Jazz. <laughs> Dude, freaking demo just destroyed Spectrum. there. And Wayne. That was awesome, man. It didn't even feel, oh my god, man. It's been like almost a half hour. It doesn't even feel like it. That felt like five minutes, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you.
here's Bazooka, nice. You would just cause random mayhem, yeah, Beggar's Bazooka is the way to go. <laughs> Kitty 0706, oh man. The mercenaries will return, yes! Okay. Oh my god, that was the best shit ever. Oh my god. <laughs> I think this is a great way to start off the, the Christmas event, guys. Ooh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely did. Oh my god, that is like, that has got to be like the best one yet. Holy shit. Oh, guys, like this video, guys. Subscribe. Please help this channel grow. And definitely click a link to the original. Like and subscribe over at the Great Dictator. Encourage him to make more of this. This is the this is it, guys. This is it. This is the TF2 series that we've been missing. This is it. It's here. It's here, right here. He he gave it to us. <sighs> anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, more videos coming up today. Also, don't forget to check out the the shorts channel. Link in the description. Check it over there for uh, Soldier and uh, doing reactions with all of the Mercs uh, over there on the Shorts channel. And I will see you guys here for more videos and, of course, topping off the Christmas event with uh, Movie Night. And until then, guys, bye bye